head over to the effects panel over here and search for the reverb effect. Add on the convolution reverb onto your audio, find the effect, head over to custom setup and click on edit. You want to select a distant source for the preset and then for the impulse you want to pick large bathroom. Take a listen to the audio, if it's too low then turn up the gain, I've set mine to 2.5 but of course you can set it higher or lower depending on what you want. So for this one, what you want to do is find your part, so mine's right over here. So make sure you have your audio highlighted, head over to effects controls, and down here where it says audio, you want to keyframe the left and right channels, head 5 keyframes ahead, and you want to set the right to negative 100, keyframe the left as well, make sure it's on 0, head 5 keyframes ahead, set the left to negative 100, and set the right to 0. For some reason it does come up with this symbol, but ignore it, it just means negative 100, play this back and you get something like this. To set the audio back to the center, just head 5 more keyframes ahead and just reset both of these to zero. This one is simple, all you need to do is right click your audio and head over to speed slash duration, turn down the speed to something like 75%, hit ok and play it back. If you head back into the settings and click over here where it says maintain audio pitch, what happens is that it keeps a constant pitch throughout the entire audio, sounding more like the original. For this one search for the high pass effect and drag it onto your audio and set the cutoff to something like 350. The higher the number the more crisp it's going to sound, so for instance 800. Take a listen. Final one is the opposite, it's called low pass and if you drag it onto your audio, it gives it a underwater effect. And that's all for this quick tutorial, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time, peace.